Hey guys, my name is Zabo, and today we're gonna to be checking out Cho Sarang or First Love's um um their album Sequence seventy two seventy two. Um, I'm really excited to check this out because I really enjoyed their um title tracks that we um did a discover on when we discovered them. I really enjoyed them because I checked out their variety show on my own time, like ten million views some with uh, or ten million views of CSR. Um, but I'm really excited to check out what these B-sides on this um, album have to offer. So if you guys are excited, make sure to like the video. Comment down below any of the B-sides or any of the songs that you enjoyed from this album. Subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when my videos go live. And for any extra content, check out the Patreon. But <coughs> without further ado, um, the first song on the album is called 72, 72 Hertz. And then we have their title track, Pop Pop. And then we have um, lyric videos for Manito and Toyot Moy. I don't I really, I know I'm butchering the hell out of that. And then we have a performance video for their last song on the album called Uracha. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to check out what these B-sides have to offer. I really enjoyed the girls' energy from the variety show, how they interact with one another. They're so cute, so fun. I really... I just really like them. They're really a fun group. I can't wait to see how they grow. And then, like, you know, from their Love to Con um, and Pop Pop, those two title tracks when we discovered, I really enjoyed those songs. Like, like people say it, they are, like, you know, fourth-gen G-friend. I can see it. Like, I really have. Like, during my, during my journey of G-friend and listening to their music and then, you know, kind of doing, like, a comparison, I can see why people would say that. Cause they really give off that very bright, fun energy, and they're really like their dancing is very like you know fun to watch and very like just cute and bright as well. So I really like it. So I mean, without further ado, let us get into this. From watching that series too, I think Juno is my um, bias. <laughs> They were all so cute, but Duna was like the one every time to call. It's either Duna or Yuna, one of the two. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of like them introducing it. Like, we're all 17. Just sat on first look. Oh. oh so, 72 sounds like, like a it's signal. Like, trying to receive a signal. Okay. I'm gonna pause here, but I, I do like that they switched it here for the bridge. Like they didn't go back to the um chorus, and like you know, with the bridge being introduced, it really you know switched up the song. I do like the part though where they were sending the signal, so because that's what I guess that's what happens when you put seventy two seventy two together like that, and like 
sing it, it sounds like, you know, like electricity going from one end to the other. Like they're sending a signal, which is what they're, you know, talking about, sending a signal to this person, like, you know, you know, as their first love, like you want them to get your signal, get your message. You know, they're introducing themselves within the song to Chosarang, the first love. And like they were all like it starting at 17, like they're all 17. So, you know, little hints and references like that are really cool to introduce your um, your group in your own song, which is really nice. I really like that. And, and, you know, I find that the song is very, very cute you know, young love, and I just like it. I really like it. So, yeah, let's continue. first love Chosarang. i really like that song like because you know they're talking about their first love but also being called first love and then you know mentioning 17 like all being 17 and just like the whole like 72 meaning like sounding like a signal like an electric um signal being sent back and forth i really like it i really like it but yeah let's move on to their title track of the album called pop 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 so here we go um is there any lyrics? No, okay. Just make it short, but uh, here we go. <coughs> Like that kind of like slide back when we were alive. Look at the smiles. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> and this beat is crazy for the song, too. Oh, that's the same signal thing.
Corio is very, very cool. You know, it's very bright, very cute, very fun. You know, fits them, you know, for what their concept is. And I just really like it. And how fast paced it is. And, like, how they just hit every note and every beat with the nice footwork. The, like, you know, poses, I would say, for certain parts. And, you know, they're just so cute. Like, <laughs> like what else could I really say? They're just really cute. Like, you just want to, you just want to make sure that they're always doing their best, like hoping that they're always come out with something great, bright and fresh. Cause I feel like they are really like a fresh group, like the bright on the bright extreme scale of things, like super fresh and like super cute, cute vocals. Um, but yeah, I really like the song. The beat, the beat for this song isn't like very like as cute, as you would like think for them like it's really like it's it's a very fun dance kind of feeling beat like it it you know like here they they, they might not even need a lyric they could have this part be like a dance break if they really wanted to switch it up which they might do in the future like for this song whenever this song like when they have a concert or something and they want to switch up the song they might add a dance break to this part because just a dance break to this song would wouldn't um I think it would fit perfect for this. I mean, for now, yeah, I like that it's cute, but I feel like in the future when they want to, um, when I feel like they can finally, like, maybe, hopefully, be on award shows or be at, like, certain, I guess, music events or any events and they need to, you know, switch up their song, I feel like adding a dance break at, around this part of the song would, wouldn't be too bad. But, yeah, let's continue. I really like it. I really like the choreo. Super cute. Let's go. Like, all of that, just in that matter of a second, was crazy. Oh, yeah. They, they have, they have a lot of, like, potential to be something, like, like, to have, like, they have this image down, and this concept down. I don't know how long that they'll do it for, you know, because I feel like the trend in fourth gen is kind of, like, go on to the next concept or kind of move on. I feel like staying with one concept in this gen is kind of hard because I feel like a lot of people want to see more or something different from the group instead of seeing maybe the same concept like done and like maybe slightly variations. I mean, I don't mind it. Like, like I said, like, um, if you think about it, a group that comes to mind as well, like that had this sort of concept too, that, that I'm seeing you know, G Frank kind of had this kind of concept for a little bit. And now, um, I'm starting to see them kind of take a switch when, um, I think the next album we come up to is when you start to see more of that too. And, you know, twice, you know, twice was that kind of fresh group for a while. And then, you know, they finally had their big switch and, you know, it's just like, I feel like groups back then used to stick with one concept before they swapped over or finish a storyline. So I don't know. Hopefully they keep this concept for a little bit longer, you know, because I feel like it fits them so well. Like, they're all so cute. They all have the cute vocals, everything. But moving on to Manito. So only thing that I know about Manito is in videos or variety shows, he supposed to treat... um. You also secretly treat your person that you got out of, you know, random draw or however you would do it on the show or however they like to do it. Um, you know, you're supposed to treat them nice. Try to, you know, 
make sure that they're like the ones being treated. Like, that's your manita. You're supposed to treat them the best, but you have to do it secretly. Is what they do on the shows. So I wonder if that's going to talk about maybe treating, you know, each other nice or treating this person that you know that you like kindly. I don't know, but here we go. Let's get into it. I'm really excited. Cho Salam. <laughs> Yeah, it's a secret, so y'all ready. I'm gonna pause it here, but yeah, as you see, it says it's a secret, you know, my hidden first love I've been waiting for a long time. Like, basically, they're using like Manito as like, you know, this person that you um like so much, you're you're the only one that I treat this special, you know, treat this well, but it's been a secret. Like, you never knew or you haven't figured it out. It's been a secret, but it's like you basically telling them now, like, yes, I've been your manito. I've been the one that's been treating you so special, so nice and you know, you're the only one that I treat like this. So um I really like that that they're using the whole manito um thing as like as the plot of of the love, like a hidden like it says my hidden first love. So I really like it. I really like the sound of their vocals on the song and the beat was you know, pretty good. I really like it. I really like it. So far in this out al- in this album, so far it's just been like you know songs have been just very nice to listen to, very cute, very just refreshing, very bright. So yeah, let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> Yeah, 
I mean, that was really nice. I really liked it. I really did. I thought it was a very cute, very fun song, very bright and refreshing. A lot of, lot of like, you know, more on the higher, like, tone of sound from each of the members so far. And it might just because, you know, they're young, you know, voices as well, too. Like, the tone that they probably picked out for this group, too. But also, I mean, they just hit it. They are hitting the notes. But just like, you know, you could, you could tell that they're very like I don't know if, how you could tell but you could just feel that they're very youthful and the songs feel very um youthful and refreshing to listen to it just kind of reminds me when I was younger <laughs> like you'd be like oh you're not you're not that old but I mean I'm 24 it's been seven years since I've been 17 <laughs> so yeah uh, it's just wow just Shout out to Chosara. <laughs> Let's move on to the next song, which is called Toy It Moy. Let's see how they pronounce this song. I, I know I'm butchering every time I say it, so I don't really know. They do use Chosarang a lot, though. I will say that. In each of the songs, they have used it. I can't even pronounce that. But they, they seem to use that a lot throughout the song. They really want you to feel that signal and just I really like how they're all pronouncing it. I'm gonna pause here before Yaham goes off. Um, so far for me, this has been the more, um, just B-sides only, the more interesting beat out of all the B-sides so far. It feels like there's a lot going on. It feels like it's very full of just different sounds, you know, that go together. And it just feels very, um, unique, I would say. It doesn't feel like something that I've heard before, something similar. It just feels very, um very different from the other beats that they sung on. I do like their um voices on this beat as well. Really like, you know, the um you know, like I said, their tone is very bright and fresh. They do use Chosarong a lot in this album. I mean I understand the name of the album is literally called Sequence. Um and that kind of um I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know, the signal or electricity feeling when you're in love. Um your first love and that signal that um electricity flowing that's what they're trying to um imitate in my opinion and it's you know that's they do use a lot like we've heard chosarong in every single song so far and um you haven't heard the the 72 72 the signal sound of those two numbers together like that um throughout every song but they're, they're really hammering now, like, my first love is this, my first love is that, I love my first love, I want my first love to know, like, you know, they are hammering that now a lot, so, I would say, am I a fan of it? 
not really, but I don't mind it. But I feel like maybe replay value of that might be a bit annoying. Um, because I'm like, I'm only hearing Cho Sarang, Cho Sarang here, Cho Sarang there, you know. But I mean, this was their first album, so I understand that they're trying to hammer down that they're Cho Sarang, <laughs> their first love. So I understand, I understand though. So yeah, let's continue, let's continue. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I do enjoy the, the girls a lot. They're very fun, very cute. So. Hmm. Yeah, Han must be the main vocalist because she'd be going off. cute at the end. I'll, look, I'll take that. Dude. That was really cute with that Chosala from Gumhi. Um, that was so cute. I really liked it. Like, the thing is too, like, as much as I might say, like, oh, hearing it so many times might be enough. They they just have such... It's just cute. That's not like I can say. Like, oh. Like, you know, just it just like makes you want... You just want to see the best for them, protect them, and hope that they will grow up to be a big group and just always keep their cuteness with them. You know? Uh, excuse me. Uh, moving on to the last song, which is called Uracha. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I don't know what it means. School version, I'm assuming? <coughs> Ooh. Well, that's their thing, you know. At this point, they might as well just be their, like, thing in every song, like, their beginning of the song. I like how they like turn it too, or like, you know, like they're, you know, turning like the radio signal.
I mean, look, you can't hate on cuteness. I'm sorry. They're all so cute. I really like the beat, though. This beat for this song is very, very nice to listen to. I really like it because it's just something different. I was not expecting this sort of beat for, I guess, a song like this. I don't know. It just is. It, it, they they made it theirs, really. And then the vocals, like I always keep saying, are very bright and very like high. Like they were really high. But I'm just saying, like that's naturally like kind of where they're sitting at. But if I think about it, yeah, some of some of their voices are very very like, like they're like not that high when you're even speaking. They're reaching that kind of. Um, that kind of like tone too so it's like they really are working to make it really sound bright and fresh which I appreciate and then the choreo is really cool and the chitty chitty part is very nice I really like it like you know what I mean like if that's how they're going to start songs or that's how they're you know starting like they're like kind of like identity that's fine because I feel like that that brings a lot if you have an identity that people will be like, oh, it's just so long I know because they did the chitty chitty part or like you, you know, Stacy girls, Stacy, you know that that's their Stacy girls is going down. Like, I feel like they made that into their um, that's their brand basically. So like, if they don't do it in a song, you're kind of surprised or you're like, where is it? You know, because I think they. There was a, there was, which title did they not, did they do it in the latest one, Beautiful Monster? I think, I it might have been Beautiful Monster that they might not have done it in, or in the, in the, in the previous um comeback, but they didn't do it in one, but they did it in the B-side, so they put it somewhere throughout the album, but they didn't do it in just the, ti- they didn't do it in the title track. So, if they want to make this their brand, I'm glad that they're kind of getting people, like, used to it, Chosarang, Chitty Chitty, like, they're getting used to these, like, kind of, like um names you know and i feel like you know that's not like when people hear chosarang they know that that stands for csr so you know it's like wuja sonyan um cosmic girls so you like you know which both of them mean and it's um son son sonya sonya shide I think that's how you pronounce it for a girl's generation like you know both meanings so i i, I like that like they're trying to in my opinion, that's what they're. That's what I'm thinking that they're trying to get people to know what like both meanings are, like CSR, Chosarang, or First Love. Like you have multiple ways of calling the group's name. I guess if you want to, like, like say this is. They're very cute, very fun. I like them. So let's continue. I can't wait to see more from them and see like you know more variety of stuff from them too. Like, um, like I said, I can see why people made their comparisons to, like, um, G-Friend, and there was another group that someone, um, that Cloud told me that people had made comparisons to, but, I mean, I can see it, like, they have the choreo, they, um, they have the bright and freshness, I guess is the word to say, of, like, like G-Friend, they're cute they're you know just have the choreos down like you know they have interest interesting like song them themselves are funny and you know love to joke around and be playful with one another which i enjoy like you know watching g from more memoria you know i'm like dang if if just along like you know grows up and have that same type of energy i could i could really say like yeah they are like the fourth gen G friend, you know, but I just, you know, like I said, I hope that they keep this concept going a bit longer. Hopefully it's not like, you know, 
a, a second mini album or third mini album and they switch concepts because they're a bit older so they're going to try something more mature or something like hopefully they kind of keep this concept going and maybe throw in sprinkles of like you know other stuff that they could possibly do in the future as like a like almost like as a like a as a teaser for like maybe like in the future when we are older we can try out more of this sort of sounding concept you know so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction um that was sequence uh titty titty um album from cho sarang um hopefully i'm saying all these um <laughs> all these right probably the titty titty part i'm not but um hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction understood me if and if not please correct me i would love to be correct on certain on the everything because you know i just love being proven wrong because if i know the right information then yeah you guys um will tell me so um yeah with that see you guys for the next video bye